Hey, bio team. Uh, so cells fall into one of two main types of categories. Uh, the first type of cell is a somatic cell, which is just a body cell. Uh, the second type of cell is a gamete or a sex cell. So examples of gametes would be things like egg cells or sperm cells uh, or in plants. Uh, the plant version of a sperm cell would be pollen. But the main difference between these two types of cells is the types of reproduction that they're involved in. Somatic cells uh, reproduce asexually. Uh, that is, they reproduce without sex, uh, not sexual reproduction, which is just when a single parent cell uh, reproduces by itself. Uh, whereas gametes reproduce sexually, and they're involved in sexual reproduction. And sexual reproduction just means that there's uh, two parents involved. So sexual reproduction is when two sex cells, two gametes, uh, combine to form a zygote, or the first cell of a new organism. So it's because of this that uh, our body cells uh, in humans actually have two copies of each chromosome. Uh, our cells are considered diploid, uh, di meaning two. Uh, we get one copy of each chromosome from our mom, and we get one copy of each chromosome from our dad. Uh, so we actually have backup copies of every allele. So we have backup copies of uh, alleles for building our blood proteins. We've got backup copies for building our eye color, uh, and so on. Uh, whereas the gametes themselves are considered haploid. That is, uh, each gamete, each sex cell, only has a single copy of each chromosome. Uh, so that way, when they combine with another sex cell, uh, the zygote that they create has a full set of chromosomes. And so somatic cells are made through mitosis. Uh, that is, when a single diploid cell with a full set of chromosomes uh, reproduces its chromosomes and divides them into two separate cells. And so at the end of mitosis and after cytokinesis occurs, what's left over are two identical uh, clones of the parent cell. Uh, the daughter cells each have the same full set of chromosomes that the parent cell started out with. Whereas making gametes involves uh, the process of meiosis or meiosis. That is, you start out with one diploid cell, one regular body cell with a full set of chromosomes. Uh, but to make gametes, uh, you have to go through an extra round of cell division uh, to produce four haploid uh, daughter cells, four haploid gametes. So the starting cell of meiosis has a full set of chromosomes, uh, but at the end of meiosis, there are only uh, cells with half sets. Uh, the idea being that uh, a gamete with a half set of chromosomes uh, can combine with another gamete with a half set of chromosomes uh, to make a zygote with a full set of chromosomes. And that's it. At this point, you guys have some practice questions. Uh, we'll see you next class.